Hello, this is Pastor Kwame, and today we want to talk about five reasons why teens leave the church. Five reasons why they leave the church. Reason number one, because they are not grounded in the Christian faith. And I'm, I'm reading from Proverbs 22, verse 6. Train up the child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. But our children are not solid in the Christian faith. So when they go to college or when they go to high school, anything and everything can really shake their faith and shape them from the foundation. So the reason number one why Christians, young people, leave the, the faith is in the first place they were, they were not strong. They were shallow in the Christian faith. Number two, the second reason why they leave the faith is because they do not have a safe haven to express their doubts and concerns regarding their faith before leaving home. Young men and young women, teens, have all kinds of questions. We as a parents, we as a church, we as a past pastors and leaders, we have to provide a safe haven to listen to their struggles and provide a biblical Christian answers. To their struggles. Number three, they are ill prepared to face the intellectual skepticisms in school where they are often taught about ideas that are opposed to biblical truth. For example, evolution. Young men and young women in our churches today are not prepared to face the intellectual opposing Christian views intellectual Christian views, intellectual belief system that fight their faith in God. They are not ready for it. Or they are ill prepared. So we as a church, Christian leaders and parents, we must wake up and prepare our young men and women to overcome all the, op the opposing belief system that they will face when they go to college. Number four. They are not strong in the word of God to combat worldly influences. When I was growing up, the type of things I face is different from what this generation are facing. They face a lot of things, but the word of God is true. If they know God's word, if they are solid in the word of God, if they are strong in the word of God, then they can overcome influences from their peers, influences from, from bad association, influences from teachers who want to influence them negatively, influences from TV and from, from the internet and all the things that they see. Number five, they have, there's a lack of discipleship, making them unprepared to respond to their unsaved friends. When our teens, our young men and women, are not well discipled they are not able to answer to their unsaved friends when they ask them questions concerning their faith if i were to ask you questions concerning your faith or if i were to ask a teen concerning their faith questions how would they respond so we talk about five things number one they are not strong in their faith number two we don't have they don't have a place a safe haven where they can express their doubts and their struggles number three they are not prepared to face all the intellectual opposing belief system for instance evolution they have got to deal with with evolution but a solid young man and young woman who knows his or her god will overcome that the word was made by god and the word was not made by the evolution they are not strong in the word of God. And they, there's a lack of discipleship. These are the five reasons why young men and young women leave the faith. The Bible says, Proverbs 22 verse 6, Train up the child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart. I want to give you a good news. Jesus says, I will build my church and the gates of hell can never prevail. If your child leaves home, if your daughter leaves home, and you train them in the Christian faith, don't worry. Don't be discouraged. Jesus is still building his church, 
and the gates of hell can never prevail. Hold your faith and be strong in the Lord your God. God will bring them back home. God bless you. Share this information. Like it. Share it. Send to your friends. God bless you. Bye-bye.